And now to take a look at uh, some of the stories making the local papers, the paper that uh, is uh, local to you, possibly, with Jennifer Williams from the Stockport Express. Welcome. Hello. Hi, thank you. Uh, we'll start with your paper then. What do you want to do first, Jim? Um, well, we've got a nice story about uh, two Stockport pubs that have uh, been selected in a pie competition. Ooh, I like no, we this like one. pies. I'm starving. We're, we're interested already. Oh, tell us about food. the food. Tell us about the pies. Well, it's British Pie Week at the start of March, and uh, there's been a competition, <laughs> national competition. Is there anything for it? So isn't a week? No. No. Okay, <laughs> Not just at all. Checking. No. And um, there's been 28 pies from various pubs around the country that have been shortlisted, and two of them are from Stockport. One is a pub in Cheadle Hume, and one is a pub in Heaton Norris. Well, get in those pubs. Let's well give done. them Let's a name check. Them, yeah. The John Millington uh -huh. and the Nursery Inn, and their pies are because we like talking food Go here. On. Their pies. Pies are um, a chicken, leek, and creme fraiche. Yeah, say how Or rabbit and wild mushroom creation. Mm. Oh, so, I, like yeah. I like the sound of that. I like rabbit. Mm. Do you? Yeah. Oh. Like so when will we find out who's the winner? And fingers crossed for Stockport. Well, I think there's going to be a, a taste test going on soon in the next sort of couple of weeks, and then actual British Pie Week. That's when the winner will be announced. Mm. Well, good luck to them. them. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Good luck to them. That's good um, news. Sticking with food, but mm. food for the birds. Um, apparently, there's a shout out here in a campaign that we need to be looking after the birds in this cold That's weather. That's right. Yeah. So, what, what is your paper saying about that? Well, even although the cold snaps sort of over for now, although we think there's, there might be more cold weather to come, um, there's wildlife enthusiasts at uh, Reddish Vale Country Park. Um, they're concerned that people continue to give a helping hand to the birds there. Uh, and we got um, a fantastic picture sent in from one of our readers of wow. some herons. Yes. Who are disputing possibly that bit of food. Well, I think it illustrates the story <laughs> yeah. quite well. We yeah. quite like it. No, I'd quite like it. Actually, what we'd like is, can you give them more, please? Yes, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, so they're, they're sort of encouraging us to, to not forget about the birds and yeah. put some water and nuts and Yeah, uh, anything fruit. really. But, um, fruit. Fruit. Birds fish like fruit. And, fish and seeds, apparently. Are the fish? Big thing. Fish, apparently. For herons, possibly. Yes, yeah. well, maybe. I don't get those in my garden. No. No, well, if you do, they're nicking the golf out of your pond. Well, yeah, look after the birds and even the ones on the tables in the gardens. Now, um, party in the park. Has this been yes. axed in Macclesfield and yet something else is rising from the ashes? It has, so? yeah. I think the summer was threatening to be a bit of a damp squib in Macclesfield. And uh, <laughs> because they'd cancelled party in the park and there's a family fun day as well, which the um, council has axed. Oh. Um, but there's uh, another festival come up to take its place, an arts festival called the Barnaby Festival. Yeah, yes, that's that sounds nice. Yeah. It sounds like good fun, actually. So what, what's going to be on at the Barnabas? I think all sorts of, um, sort of opera, theatre, um, anything you can imagine, really. And I think the idea is that um, rather than people in the area going to Manchester or Buxton for arts, actually raising the profile within Macclesfield itself. Um, it's a wonderful idea. Well, good for them. Mm. Best of luck to them. Like, that's obviously a success. Shame about Party in the Park. It was yeah. quite it is, popular, yeah. I understand. And but, that's um, going to be June the 18th to the 20th, so fingers mm. crossed with the weather on that one. Mm. You know, it should be summer. Might be a nice one. <laughs> yeah. um, and it, it just says here their intention is to raise funds so that next year it can be bigger and better. So well, let's hope good so. for them. Come oh, on. it's Andy let's Crane's story. Let's bilingual dogs. Yeah, absolutely. Love the bilingual dog story. Yes, Tell us dog we've story. done it, but uh, remind people of the story. And yeah. I think, is there a follow-up to this now? Well, I'm not sure. There's um, an RSPCA shelter in Oldham that's got, it's had a dog with it for, um, for a while called uh, Scent with yep. C and um, the dog can, well he can't speak anything but it can understand <laughs> English and Polish. If the dog could speak Polish yeah, I know, now, then, that would be that, a story. Yeah, would be onto a winner, yeah, but absolutely. it responds to commands in Polish yes. and uh, Rebecca Pukiela went along from Channel M to speak to it and delivered her commands in beautiful Polish and it responded accordingly yeah. I recall. And, and I think the follow-up here is that the RSPCA have had a lot of they have. calls. They have, yeah, they've had hundreds of calls, yeah. Well, you do, you um, show them one dog on the telly and everybody wants it. But, yeah, uh, but none of the families are writers yet, so... Oh, no, they're not really? No. Oh, has it not no. been homed? Nope, not been homed. They've, so. they've managed to home four other dogs, though, in a week, just as a result of people ringing in, but they've yeah. not homed scent. So, it's a, you know, it's a sad story, but it's, it's got a good ending. The, I'm it? sure they will find a home for scent, the dog, eventually. I don't know, does it have to be a Polish home? <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know, I don't know. Thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, nice to see you. Thank you for your time. Thank you.